Good morning. Welcome to Live for Five with Pastor Ben. I'm glad you're tuning in today. Uh, it is sunny out, but man, is it cold today. Goodness, it is so much colder than yesterday. Hoo-wee. Uh, the, the wind is up today, just chilling the bones. Ugh, the heat is back on it, church. I, I, we've noticed that if it's if it's not well below freezing at church, that the church building is quite cold because the heat never really comes on. Ooh, it's just chilly, brisk out there today. Um, but good morning, Terry and Diana, uh, John and Jan. I'm glad you're with us as well. Um, we we have a fun and interesting text that's going to be helpful for us today. Good morning, Nita. And Bev, let's make our beginning this morning in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Amen. The verse of the day in the YouVersion Bible app is 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in that name. Now, there's a few things, one contextually in this book, and then also historically in the context of the Roman Empire. The first thing is we got to read two verses before this. Yet is a fancy therefore. So we got to see what's going on. Um, There's a nice little sandwich here in verses 14, 15, and 16 of 1 Peter chapter 4. And the verse 16 is the is the end of the sandwich. So we got to see what the first the first piece of bread is, the last piece of bread, and what's the middle piece? What are what are we actually chewing on here? What's in our sandwich? So 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 14 starts with, If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. Okay. But now comes verse 15. This is what we're actually talking about. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. And now the rest of the sandwich. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed. Let him glorify God in that name. Now why is, what, what is verse 15 talking about? Well, it's, it's talking about exactly what it sounds like. Uh, murder, evildoers, antagonizers, stuff like that. So l- l- what's going on for this to be relevant? Well, the implication is that if anyone who is reading this suffers because they're a murderer, that's not suffering as a Christian should. We should then regard the murderer as the way we take the thief on the cross in Luke 23, verse 41. Justly, we receive the due reward of our deeds. So, Peter is contrasting the murderer who's obviously doing evil with the Christian who's suffering for righteousness' sake. Now, why is he taking this up? Where is this coming from? Well, when Peter says, if anyone suffers as a Christian, he certain he, he means suffering for Christianity as a crime because the government had denounced Christianity. So you can be called a criminal for being a Christian, but that doesn't make all crimes the same, is Paul is Peter's point. This has already happened in Rome. This is why Peter's bringing this up. Christianity was being regarded by Nero as religio illicita, a crime. Christianity was a crime. Believing in Jesus Christ was a crime. So Peter himself is going to be executed for this. Paul will soon follow. And Peter thinks that the Roman governor in the provinces are actually going to start kicking down this order from Nero as well to prosecute Christians as criminals. The crime being this illicit religion. So, 
Let's go back to that full context again, verses 14 and 15. If you're insulted for the name of Jesus Christ, and that's called a crime, remember you're blessed because of this. But if you're being insulted or called a criminal because you're a murderer, yes, you're a murderer. That is a crime. Peter is trying to distinguish between revering God's authority or revering man's authority. God's authority supersedes man. This is actually what Peter says to the Sanhedrin in Acts. We obey God rather than men if there is a conflict. And, and Peter's trying to flesh this out for his hearers of this letter. We don't know the, the initial audience of this, but we get the sense that they're in Rome or under Roman rule. And he addresses this earlier in the book, so he takes it up again. Well, consider this for us today. We don't have uh, illegal activity by means of being Christians in the United States. Not really. But if it were to come to that point, if you're suffering as a Christian because of being a Christian, you're blessed, do not be ashamed of this, glorify God. Glorify God. In all we do, glorify God. This is helpful. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, we don't have the persecution in the United States that Peter is talking about, but we can imagine it. We see evidence of it all around the world, and so we can entertain what it would look like for us. Lord, we thank you for the protections we have, but help us to be prepared, to not be ashamed of the gospel, but to live as messengers of your name in all that we do. We pray this in your Son's name, Jesus Christ. Amen. The vigilant task. We are so blessed with uh, the protections we have. Uh, Believe it or not, we have them. Uh, But let us be prepared to glorify God in all that we do. Have a blessed day in Christ. I'll see you soon.